Hello, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Brittany if you're new here and if you're not new here, welcome back. So happy to have you here. Um, today's video is going to be a college vlog. Basically, I'm preparing for classes because today is Sunday, January 23rd and tomorrow I start classes for the first day of spring semester at San Francisco State University. I'm studying dietetics. I have my little dietitian in training sweatshirt on and I love this so much. My boyfriend bought it from Etsy but yeah, I'm just going to show you everything that I do to prepare for classes to have a productive, um, amazing semester. So I did make a little to-do list, nothing special, just on a little post-it note, but um, on this list I have print syllabi, put schedule in my planner and in Google uh, Calendar, which I use all the time. I have changed my desktop because it's still in December haven't changed it. <laughs> I have buy textbooks, um, prepare like my notebooks and whatever supplies I'm going to use and write down important dates from the syllabi, um, you know, for exams and projects and all of that stuff. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is log on to my classes and print the syllabi um, just so I have a hard copy of it that I can reference anytime whenever I need to. Okay, I printed my syllabi for my two classes. Yes, I only have two classes because that's all the classes I need this semester. Um, there was one more that I could have um, taken now so that I wouldn't have to do it next year, but it filled up so quickly and seniors have priority for it. So couldn't get into it, but it's okay. Um, two classes. One's going to be in person, but not for three weeks because um, I go to a California State University and since like Omicron got so bad, they're trying to delay it for three weeks um, and then have us transition to in-person. So that's cool. Um, so I'm just gonna mark print syllabi off of my little to-do list. And then the next thing I wanna do is put my schedule in my planner and in Google Calendar. So I have this planner, um, it's from I don't know it's from target oh sugar paper essentials and this is an academic uh planner so it starts in july july and it goes through june um so it just follows like the school year versus the full year just because if you are a student this one just makes a little bit more sense um but you know whatever one you prefer but i like these ones and yeah they're great so I already have like work stuff and volunteer stuff in my calendar because I do volunteer at a food bank. Um, now I'm doing twice a week. I used to do once a week, but you know, I need more volunteer experience for becoming a dietitian and any food related experience is just really helpful. But yeah, I'm going to look through because I actually don't know when my classes are. I know they're Monday and Wednesday only. Um, but yeah, also I'll tell you what my classes are. I have nutrition in the life cycle, which focuses on like how nutrition changes um, during like certain parts of your life. For example, um, like we talk about for women who are pregnant, how they need to, you know, change their nutrition to um, better support their child. And then also we have like lactation, um, all of that and yeah also as they as like uh anybody gets older you know your diet may need to change so all of that is going to be covered in this and i'm super excited for this class and then i also have uh general biochemistry which is very important um if you are studying dietetics because i i say that that's totally the foundation of dietetics um a lot of people think it's going to be so easy because it's like oh nutrition like eat your fruits and vegetables like that's it but actually there's so much science involved in it um personally i love science i'm kind of like a little science nerd but yeah i i really like it so no big deal i think that should be great i loved organic chemistry last semester it was so much fun i learned a lot i did great in the class um so I am excited for this. Hopefully it goes the same way. So nutrition in the life cycle is Monday and Wednesdays from 12 to 1.45 p.m. Oh, sorry, 12.30 to 1.45 p.m. So not too bad. I'm going to mark it in my calendar in purple. I don't know why, but yeah. And Mondays are in person, but like I said, that doesn't start for three weeks. So I'm just going to write it 
And I'm glad these are at 12.30 because I volunteer until 10.30 and I need a little bit of time in between to eat and drive home because on one of them I have to drive. So. And then biochemistry is an evening class which I actually really like. It's from 5 to 6.15 on Monday and Wednesday so I'm going to put that in my calendar as well and I'm going to put that into red. And now I'm just going to do the same thing in Google Calendar so I have it everywhere and also it sends my phone notifications so I know when I need to get ready to hop on Zoom. Also here's just like a little overview of what my planner looks like. So I always do my workouts, I do like my volunteer days, I do my work days but I'm not exactly sure what's going on yet. I know Thursday and Friday for sure. But yeah, that's just what it looks like right now. I may add other work days um, if I get asked, but yeah. Okay, here's my Google Calendar. I'm just going to add um, my classes. So we have uh, Nutrition 453. And this is... This does repeat. Custom, we're gonna do Monday and Wednesday, not Saturday. Um, yeah, and then the time for this is 12 30 p.m. to 1 45. And yes, it says weekly on Monday and Wednesday. Okay, there we go. Monday and Wednesday is set. And then we're going to have biochem. And this, we're going to do the same thing. We want it to be, first we'll set it to Monday and then we want it to repeat custom every Monday and Wednesday. And the time for this is late. It is 5 p.m two six fifteen i'm gonna have to remember that because it's a little bit hard to remember there we go five to six fifteen and here it is on our calendar and it just goes every week so perfect that is done so i think the next thing to do which would make sense is just to go through uh the syllabi and look at important dates such as exams big projects and mark those in my calendar um as well as google calendar so i just kind of have an idea and like as the semester progresses um i can see it at any point like oh yeah this project's due next week i need to make sure that i have it done before that um so okay both of these planners, I mean, both of these uh, syllabi are really nicely organized, which is great. Um, so I see for my nutrition and the life cycle class um, on February 28th, we have our first midterm. Um, and every week we have like five point assignments, but I'm not going to count those um, in my planner just because I don't think those are too big and I don't want to put every single thing. Um, so midterm one, midterm two, um, and a final exam. And then I think, do we have a project? I think we have a project somewhere, but I don't know. Yeah, we have a project worth 18% of our grade. I'll, I'll just put the midterms for now, and then I'll put um, whatever else needs to go later on for the project. And then I'm also going to look at the biochem, just so I can put them together I see it says that textbooks are optional for biochem but I still want to get them at least one of them so you know I can reference it as needed oh wow okay for biochem our grade is fully comprised of two quizzes two midterms and a final that's scary I hate how science classes do that because there's nothing to boost your grade and like it terrifies me um but anyway so yeah, we have quizzes, uh, midterm, midterm, okay. 
this is good uh they put it in red whenever there's an exam so just gonna mark in my calendar the important days i think i'm gonna do that in red for no I'm, I'm gonna stick to purple and red just so i know yeah. okay so february 9th is our first biochem quiz so i'm just flipping through my planner for that no. okay and then February 23rd is our first midterm. And next we have um, the 28th is our nutrition midterm due. And then my cat is like crying right now. I don't know why. Um, and then 3-9, we have uh, quiz 2. Okay. And then next we have... Don't cry, Cece. 4-11. Oh my gosh. Is that right? No, that's not right. Okay. I was wondering why we had something on a Friday when I only have Monday and Wednesday class, but that's why. So 3.30 is another exam. There's a lot of exams for BioCut. And then for 11, we have a, another nutrition midterm. Okay. And then we have nothing until May. Yay. That's a nice little break, although it's going to be the most stressful time because that's before finals. So, May 16th, I have my biochem final. And then on May 18th, I have my nutrition final. And that's it. I'm going to copy all of this into Google, Cal Google Calendar now. Thankfully, Google Calendar is done. I put everything in there, so I'm going to cross a few things off of my to-do list. Um, I'm going to cross out, put schedule and planner in Google, and then I'm going to cross off write important dates. Now, I still need to change my desktop, um, buy textbooks, and prepare notebooks. Also, um, I did buy a few things from Target the other day for school. So I didn't need any like pencils, pens, all of that. I have plenty. Didn't need a backpack. I have, you know, <laughs> didn't need any of that. But I do have two notebooks that I bought. This is so pretty. I don't know if it's focusing well, but it's just like super cute flowers. And it is a five-star notebook, which I personally prefer because these are notebooks that I'm going to be keeping for years just because they are so important to my major um so that these don't have like a super cheap cover they're not going to rip off so that's important to me and then i also have just a plain white one um and then i also like to do folders sometimes even though these have folders just in case i need more stuff because i don't know if the class is going to need me to constantly print out things or not um so i did buy a folder for each one this just matches the notebook it's so cute and then this is just a like Geomet geometric there we go design it's just simple but cute and then here's the thing i'm most excited about 
one of these because the calendar right now on my desk i'm gonna show you guys is december and i haven't gotten a new one i haven't changed it it's just been december and i swear i always look at the dates and i'm like i don't know i'm just like lost with it so also my computer desktop also still says december because i like to get the calendar ones so yeah we're gonna i think i'm gonna get this calendar and write the important dates um first and then yeah i guess i can assign like a notebook and something to each one so since my nutrition class is going to be in person um you know after three weeks i think i'm going to use this cute notebook for that because i don't know i just would feel cute walking around with this notebook <laughs> so this is nutrition and then this is going to be biochem and i like to do something cute where i instead of like i don't know i just write the class thing on here and then use the sticky side of a post-it note and like put it on top so i know what class is what without like using a sharpie or something because this one you're not going to be able to see so that just helps me in my head so let's just do that now that is all done um now i finally am not looking at a december calendar anymore even though it's almost the end of january so happy about that next i need to buy some textbooks um since i only have two classes i really only need two textbooks i think there was one more for biochem that was optional but i think i'll just buy the two unless um i think it might benefit me then I'll do that if needed but yeah let's buy textbooks um just so they could at least come close to when school starts like teachers are super understanding about that so I'm not even worried but yeah I like to buy them from Amazon rentals I think they're like the cheapest and usually the best option but I do like to look at other websites like Chegg and you know all of that $90 later we have textbooks and the crazy part is that was only two and that's for rentals um normally I spend a lot more than that but still any amount of money towards textbooks and I'm just renting and have to return hurts a little bit so now I need to prepare my desktop um like I said I have a December uh calendar on it and I also have some icons that are just for my old classes so I want to just kind of organize the desktop and make it look better because I also have random like screenshots that just like get saved to the desktop so we're gonna do that first I'm gonna find a wallpaper that has the January calendar in it um just I don't know I like having the calendar everywhere I'm kind of crazy if you can't tell I'm like super organized but yeah we're gonna do that and I'll show you guys as I go along how everything goes how everything looks and yeah so here's what my desktop currently looks like before I change anything. Um, like I mentioned, it is December, but yeah, this is kind of like the wallpapers I like. Um, and then on like this side, on the left side, we have um, some folders for classes I no longer have. So I'm going to change that a little bit. And then on this side, we have a bunch of random screenshots. And I was actually able to find a free PDF of the second optional book over here. Um, so I'm just going to change this into january change these for my classes and then see what i can get rid of from here so i have a website that i use bookmarked um, i'm just going to show you guys it is this one it's some ladies blo uh, blog i can't say the word blog i always say vlog but it's oh so lovely um oh so lovely blog.com and if you go down to freebies oh wait is it freebies here 250 free 2022 calendars and then 
you can click on that if you want to do the whole year ones. I'm kind of thinking about that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the whole year one just so I don't have to keep changing it every month. Um, but I can change it whenever I want to. So here's all the options. I think I'm going to do this one actually. Here's what it looks like. It's super simple, but I think it's nice. And then you download it. Your file is downloading. And then I save it to my pictures so I can find it easier. Then we're going to open it. Yeah, you can pull it from your pictures. It's literally right there. And just like that, we're done. So since that's here, I'm going to move these down. Since I only have two classes, I only need two of them. Now I'm going to go over on this side and see what I can get rid of or put in a separate folder. <laughs> Okay, that is all done. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to move these over to the top, I guess. Just so they're kind of out of the way. And that's it. I know mine is not like as nice as like someone like Lauren Doan or Julia Christ, but I like how it looks. So that's done. Okay, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up down below if you made it to this point because I don't think you would make it to this point if you didn't like the video. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already. And if you guys are going back to school, let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you have an amazing semester. And yeah, thank you guys. I will make more videos like this very soon. I'll see you guys in my next vlog.